All right, today we're talking about how to utilize audio in Spark AR. All right, so today's video is gonna be going into the actual specifics of how to utilize audio in Spark AR itself, how to utilize your own audio in Spark AR, and also some fixing some of the common challenges with uh, audio and like how to bring in your own audio into a Spark AR project. Okay, so to start with, we're gonna actually create a base project, which is our audio base project. So let's just start with a blank project here. Um, we're gonna get some basic uh, elements set up. So let's bring in Spark AR Studio here. So there's a few core elements that we're gonna set up here. Well, firstly, let's uh, add an object. Let's add in a face tracker. And let's also add in just a, a blank face mesh as well on that face tracker. And that's just gonna allow us to have some sort of interaction with the phase. It's really purely just for aesthetics. Uh, whilst we're here, let's also add a speaker. Now we can't do anything with the speaker right now. Uh, the speaker will be used later uh, when we're ready to connect our audio. So next what we need to do is we need to bring in an audio file. So for this, I'm gonna bring in just a um, sample file from the AR library. So let me open up the AR library uh, let's open up the audio and we're just going to choose this Nani's sitcom theme intro 01. So that's going to download, uh, it's going to uh, then be in your assets here. And if we click on it and we hit play, you can hear it play. So that's great. What we then need to do is add an asset and add in an audio playback controller. And that's our way that we're going to dictate when the sounds all play. So what we need to do is we need to specify the audio here, which is the one we just imported. And then we need to go to speaker and change in the audio setting here, we need to change the speaker to the audio playback controller. Now that is the fundamentals of getting a speaker in place, getting the ability to play audio out to the, to the user. What we need is a way to actually interact to hit play in a way. So what I'm going to do is, uh, with the face tracker, I'm actually going to add an interaction for when uh, something occurs that we want the audio to start playing. So let's go to the face tracker layer here, and then go create. And we're going to make it that when someone opens their mouth, that the the audio is going to start playing. So we bring in the patch; it's automatically all created these this sequence for us. And now we need to attach when the mouth opens so that something occurs. So under the audio playback controller itself, we wanna to go to the properties and click the little arrow next to play and also the arrow next to the reset. And they will be brought into the patch editor down below. And what we wanna do here is drag the mouth open arrow to play and to reset, which will also automatically add a pulse and yeah, let's just bring that in a little bit proper and we heard it there for a quick second uh, but if I change the camera now to utilize uh, my actual webcam so you can see me in the in the scene there if I now open my mouth you can hear it starts playing and the way that I've currently got it set up is that on mouth open it actually uh, only plays whilst the mouth is open. So let's uh, let's quickly change that so that it stays playing until someone opens their mouth again. So let's uh, drag these across. We wanna add in a switch. And that will automatically send in a pulse with the switch, which then we wanna to attach to these, two, uh, to these elements here. So moving them across a little bit more. Playback controller, set it to play and pulse so that when we open our mouth now, it starts playing. And then if I open my mouth again, it stops playing. It, it will keep on doing that over and over again. So yeah, as many times as I keep opening my mouth, it will keep on playing. So that is now a base audio project uh, set up. Okay, so with the base audio project now set up, let's talk about the common the most common uh, issue I ran into, and, and one that I've seen online as well, around audio in Spark AR, and briefly touched on this, but 
it is when you uh, convert a file, uh, and this primarily occurred when I tried converting a video to M4A file type, but also occurred when I tried to convert an audio to M4A using like an online converter. Utilizing an online converter doesn't seem to work, and I'm not exactly sure the ins and outs as to exactly why it doesn't work, but from my experience, it just doesn't. And what we need to do is effectively take a different method in how we take our audio file and can convert it into an M4A file. Now to do this, uh, instead of using like an online converter how you may have done it in the past, we actually need to use, and I'm doing this specifically on Mac, but we need to use uh, Mac's music uh, program. No longer iTunes, it's now called just music. We need to use the music software in order to take whatever file type, whatever audio file type, and convert it into an actual M4A uh, file that we can utilize in Instagram. If you don't do it through this process, what I found is the M4A file, if you get all the settings right, will actually import into Spark AR. It will work in the debug, in your um, editor here on the, on the computer. It will also work on your device debug. But when you bring it into actually publishing it and utilizing it in Instagram, the audio suddenly doesn't work. I have no idea why that's the case, but what happens. So let's go through and actually go through the process specifically on creating an M4A file for Instagram filters. Okay, so I've got Apple Music open now uh, and what you want to do is open up Apple Music, import your file as you normally would uh, import your audio files. Now I had a whole range of random sound effects uh, in my iTunes for some reason from 2018. So I'm gonna utilize one of those uh, for this example. So we've got music open. What we wanna do is we wanna go to music, uh, the music tab in the top left and go to preferences. And in the preferences, uh, it used to be on the general screen here. And you, if you have an older version of music, it may still be there. Uh, but in the newer versions, it's in the files tab and we want to go to import settings. Now, under the import settings, what we need to do is make sure the import using is AAC encoder, and the settings we want to change to custom. And the main reason we're doing this is ultimately so we can change the channel to mono. We need to make sure this channel is mono. I also have the stereo bit rate at 256, the sample rate at 44100, and Basically, I've left all these other settings. The only setting I changed here is the channel from auto to mono. So we want to change that, hit OK, OK, and OK. So now we've got our file here. We've got Apple Music's preferences set up. What we want to do is select the file that we uh, are looking to convert and go up to file and then go down to convert and create AAC version. And what that's going to do is, depending on, I guess, the, the length of your audio file, it might take a little bit of time, but um, because this is only two seconds, it goes super quick. So we want to right click on the, uh, on the uh, entry in Apple Music here, go show in Finder, and then in your, in your list of, of music, you should see one which is a .m4a. I'm going to hit spacebar on my Mac, and we can hear that that sound effect works and is also converted to an m4a file. So let's go through and turn that into, or bring it into Spark AR. Okay, so we're back in Spark AR now. Uh, what we need to do is bring that audio file in. So navigate to your finder, find that asset itself. You can click and drag it into the audio section. Now right there, if you click and drag that in and you got an error, there's a few different reasons why that is. It's It could be you don't have the right channel, you need to make sure it's mono. It could be that you have the wrong sampling rate, it needs to be 44100. Uh, it might not be the right file type if you didn't do the conversion itself. But what you need to make sure is, if you followed those steps, converted an audio file to M4A file, you should be in the clear in regards to bringing that file in now. The key reasons I found uh, is that sample rate, the channel, and the uh, the actual wrong file type. Uh, there could be other ones, those are the key ones that I ran into. You should now also be able to click on that asset there and hit play, and you should hear the sound effect in Spark AR. So what we now need to do is go to our playback controller, 
and switch it to the uh, the new audio file that you brought in uh, and you should be good to go it should actually now begin working for me I've actually uh, I turned off the the interaction of the switch because you know it gets annoying after a while um, if you have a better <laughs> if you have a better interaction maybe it's not as bad but for me it was getting annoying <laughs> so I'm going to turn those back on and I want to note one thing here um, let me just let me try open my mouth and close again so that reset and that should have played. What I've found, and this is something just I wanted to point out in case you're playing around with the interactions and wondering why they stopped working. If you have created these patches and you create the connections, then you delete the connections and then connect them back up. What I've found is Spark AR actually, uh, I don't know, like it, it notices that the connection is there because we can see that it's playing. Now you can see in the patch creator there that it is toggling. like. There it's gone off, there it's gone back on. For whatever reason, whether maybe the playback controller, the patch not recognizing with the new track, um, but it just, it doesn't recognize. So what I recommend is actually to close your Spark AR entirely uh, and open up the project again. Because for whatever reason, they, they don't seem to like it, uh, it just, I haven't found a solution. If anyone has a solution to that, please uh, comment down below. But that uh, now that that's reset, let's open. And we can hear the sound effect works perfectly fine. And open again. Reset. Plays again. So just a little uh, bug there <laughs> with Spark AR, the audio playback controller. But that's it, guys. Um, that is now how you've got your full audio, you got the audio actual playing in the in the scene itself. Uh, that's it. If, if you need to troubleshoot to see why your audio stops playing, I recommend importing a free asset from the Spark AR, um, from the Spark AR library uh, and replacing your audio with that to make sure is it an audio problem or is it a patch problem? Because they're very different. If you're failing to actually get to that play situation uh, you're not going to be able to fix that with the audio file so make sure before you do any like further research into your audio not working make sure that audio file actually works uh, and by replacing that with a free asset from the from their from their library and so that's it guys we've gone through we've figured out how exactly do you set up audio in spark AR itself how do you then take your own audio piece and bring it in and, and also fixing up some common issues that you know that I ran into myself when trying to get into audio first in uh, Spark, AR, Spark AR, especially around that custom sounds, bringing them in yourself. Guys, if you have any other challenges, I'd love to know, uh, try and help as much as possible. I don't know everything about audio in Spark AR, but please post them in the comments if you need any help.